Welcome back, you beautiful fucks. We got an emergency video. Thank you for joining me on the front cover of Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. I stuttered a bit. Sorry, what's new? All right, that's right. It's an emergency. Some stuff has dropped online this morning. I saw it on Instagram and Twitter, and I wanted to share it with you guys in case you haven't seen it. Uh, first off, uh, Zilla confirmed Bandai Store exclusive. I mean, not Bandai. Godzilla Store exclusive. Bandai Movie Monster Series Zilla from 2004. So that's the Final Wars version, which, I mean, it's not that different. M maybe it would have looked a little different if they did it based on the 98 version, but it's fine. It's whatever. I don't think they can do that because that's a rights issue. They only have access to Zilla from 2004, I believe. So anyway, yeah, it's official. Um, it's up on pre-order for the Bandai store. Bandai keep saying bandai store godzilla store in japan and will more than likely make its way over to the u.s store uh in due time i was kind of hoping they'd release at the same time or at least go up for pre-order at the same time in both japan and u.s but it's okay i guess not you cannot always get what you wish for okay life is not that fair anyway to the bigger news that came out this morning and i saw it while i was on the toilet uh playmates wave two Okay, we've already talked about it so many times. Okay, so many times. We know it's coming out in fall, probably sooner, early fall, you know, maybe more in August, towards the end of August, probably. Um, we know about Mothra, Tiamat, um, Kong with the Battle Axe, uh, Battle Roar Shimo, pretty sure Giant Shimo, Giant Mothra. We know all about them. Um, and some of those are available now. Like I said, Battle Roar Shimo is already starting to appear in stores. Big Shimo, or Giant Shimo, I should say. Let me be let me be politically correct here with my toys. Giant Shimo is already available. Um, but the 6-inch wave, we've been kind of waiting for. And it's been seen out in the wild. Now, I don't know what store this is. It kind of looks like a store that I've seen pop up online that's mainly based in the UK. I could be completely wrong, though. So... Uh, but the fact that it's popping up on certain store shelves now makes me believe it will soon make its way to the U.S. side as well and slowly start panning out there. And if you don't live in the U.S., then you don't give a shit what I'm saying right now. That's okay. But, yeah, and what's big about this is what was posted I saw on Instagram and what someone else posted on Twitter is we have a new look of a new Godzilla figure. Now, it's not really new. It's a repaint of the pre-evolved Godzilla, which is nothing new to Playmates. They like to reuse their molds. It's perfectly fine. Okay, recycle. But this is uh, Energized Godzilla, I believe is what it's called. I don't have the picture in front of me. But this is where we see Godzilla. Um, he starts to glow blue where he, he, where he slurps up all that radiation in France. And then he heads to Spain and he's like glowing blue and all that. That's what this is based off, which I'm pretty happy with because I do. I thought that was a cool design in the movie, and I wanted to see more figures of that, especially Haya's, because Haya's version looks really nice. Obviously, this is Playmates; it's not going to look as good. It's ten dollars, but it uh, still looks pretty nice, and it comes with the drone from the movie. I like that it, some of these accessories are specific to the movie and the scenes that take place. So, if you remember, like the French, they send their drones in to try to kill Godzilla because he's He's, he's just sucking up all that energy, God forbid, or all that radiation. And, yeah, so you have a French drone there. It's not really labeled a French drone. It's just a drone, but whatever. It looks like a little jet, which is cool. I like that. And in the picture, you also see Tiamat, Mothra, and Battle Axe Kong are all there as well. And supposedly from the Twitter user who I got these images from, I'll post their picture up here, too. That way I give them credit. Um, there are actually two other figures in the wave uh some people were asking why no one's taking pictures of the back of the box so we could see the rest of the wave supposedly from what i've read i don't know if this is true nothing is really new on the back of the box um so that's why no one's really caring to show it i don't again i don't know if that's true that could be wrong um but apparently from this twitter user they say that there are two other figures in this wave uh, none of them are Scylla, though, which is pretty s a little sad, a little disappointing. Um, but I'm still holding out hope that they're going to do a Wave 3 eventually, and Scylla will be there. 
kind of have a feeling like if they're gonna do Tiamat, they have to do Scylla. Like both of those creatures had like the same amount of screen time. There's there's no way they're skipping out on Scylla. So I it just probably we have to wait a little bit. Um but that's fine because you know, I've heard some people say they don't think they're only going to do two waves because that's what they did for Godzilla vs. Kong. I think they're going to do more just because um, back like a year ago when Luminous did an interview with Playmates on his YouTube channel at a toy fair or whatever. Uh, they said, Playmates themselves said they're making a lot more of the Godzilla Monster vs. figures um, than they did with Godzilla vs. Kong. And I kind of base off what they do with the Mutant Ninja Turtles and it seems like mutant mayhem if you're familiar with that that uh, ninja turtle movie that's been out for over a year now i believe i think maybe about a year and they're still making figures for that coming out with new stuff for that um so i could see them doing the same thing with godzilla x kong where yeah the movie's been out for a few months and now we're getting wave two but they'll still continue to release new stuff for a while because they're still they're still enough monsters there still untapped potential you know you have the different kongs um or you know the different kong species that were part of scar king's tribe um like i said you have scylla and that's it <laughs> i think unless you want to do parrot frog and a bigger doug which i'd be totally fine with you know giant tiamat i mentioned that before that'd be cool but yeah and some more titan tech because that'd be really awesome. And maybe some more battle packs. That'd be cool. So yeah, I'm still holding out hope. Um, I'm curious to think, to see what the uh, other two figures are for the wave. If if I were to guess, it's going to be um, another repaint of Evolved Godzilla. But maybe a bit more glowing and pink or purplish. Kind of like how he was at the end of the movie in the final battle in Rio. And then after that, I don't know. Maybe another version of Scar King? Another version of uh, Shimo? We'll see. Um, it's kind of it's kind of interesting to think what could be the other one. Could be one of the Kongs. Could be one of uh, Scar King's henchmen. It could be a giant-sized parrot frog. Maybe. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think it is, but I'm just happy to see this. Like I said, give it another month or so. We should start seeing these figures in the stores, hopefully sooner. I wish, like, as soon as I put this phone down, someone just goes on Twitter and says, Hey, they're here. They're, they're over here at Walmart, right down the road. Great. It's a Christmas miracle. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. That's it for the emergency video. I hope you all take care, and I'll see you all next time.